welcome to the Firefly Studio 67. It's Gina. I'm back. As I promised, I thought we would play around with uh, some of the Arteza mica powders that I've re recently um, received. And looking at them again, you can see there's 60 different colors. And I'll be honest with you guys, um, I've really struggled to decide what color. There are some gorgeous shades in here. But I think I've decided today that we'll play around with the um, Dusk Purple. It's, it's such a soft uh, shade, so I want to try that one. And we are going to get started first by making some Glimmer Mist with this. And I <clears throat> am really anxious to see how this comes out. And then we will build... Um, We'll work on creating a tag with it, but we'll first let's get our glimmer mist made up. You're going to need a little spray bottle. You're going to need some alcohol. Ugh, and you know, Mod Podge. <laughs> and then your <clears throat> mica powder. So let's just get into it with a, um, this is a 50 millimeter milliliter bottle. You're going to fill that about um, three quarters full of the alcohol. I think that's about three quarters. And then you're going to take <coughs> about a half a teaspoon of Mod Podge, which mine is now glued shut. Ah. Every time I go to film, it's some kind of crisis. <laughs> so in that case, I am going to use the collage podge. And I am going to just guesstimate um, about a, a half a teaspoon. And the same with your pigment. You're going to use from a half a teaspoon to um, three quarters, depending on you know how uh, dark you want it. Like I said, I'm going to just guess with this. Let me shake that up and see where we're at with that. And if I don't feel that's enough, I'll come back and add a bit more. So just shake that up really good. Oh, that's come out beautiful. Let's just have a little spray here. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm going to put a little bit more pigment in there. So play around with it. Um, I think we're going to end up with closer to a teaspoon. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Daisy's been set off by the front door. Okay, just giving that a good shake there. And I've got these watercolor tags that uh, I've had in my drawer, and I just keep forgetting that they're in there. So I'm just going to test that out now. And we'll set that over and let that dry, and I'll bring it back so that you can see. I'll be right back. Okay guys, I have dried that now and I've come back and just hit it with a little bit more just so you could see a bit more um, of the color, but it, it's it got a beautiful sheen to it. I'm really, really loving this. <clears throat> like I said, I it was difficult just to decide on this this color, but I will definitely be mixing those up this week. 
Remember, that's the dusk purple for that one. So let's carry on and create something with this now uh, for our junk journal. Let me just grab a sheet of paper here that I've been working on. I like to have something under my <coughs> space. Um, so I thought I would play around. This is the Prima Lavender Papers because um, those kind of coordinate nice. So I'm just going to play around a bit with that, make a, a tag to go... I want to start working on these. Um, I've got some old receipt, vintage, um, I think that's French, I don't know, it's something. And then some of this shipping paper. I just think it needs some, I like the idea of some of that to contrast. And then I'm going to probably do some sewing. I don't know, we're just going to play and see what we come up with. I did not plan this project. <laughs> You know I'm useless when it comes to planning something, so just going to start building some um, different layers on it. I don't want this tag to get too thick because this is a uh, watercolor paper, so it's already pretty thick because I'm going to run that through the machine, so I'm just going to be conscious that I don't get too much going on there. But yeah, I just thought it'd be kind of fun to play with these today, and um, I love them. I love it. I've got to get some more bottles and get some things mixed up. So yeah, I probably won't be very chatty at this point, because I f do find it uh, when I'm making something, it's not easy to carry on conversation. Plus, I'm not really that much of a talker. You probably are surprised by that, but I, I, I'm not really a chatty person in, in real life. But then I guess it depends on the topic. I, could, I can talk quite a bit about uh, crafting and journaling, but, but just everyday chit-chat I do kind of struggle with, so... fold that where I want it. And then I'll probably come back on this one and maybe even um, I might even back it and see how thick it ends up because as I said with the watercolor paper I don't want this to get too thick because I want it to go in a, a journal. <coughs> Doilies are so fiddly to get glued down, aren't they? I think anybody that's worked with them knows these are... You always end up with glue all over your fingers. <laughs> then you have to stop to wash your hands. some papers on there now. Yeah, this is going to probably end up a really thick um, because these Prima papers are very, very thick. of this where the, I'm filming okay I'm going to go to some of this glue now because that's 
thick and I don't think that, that glue stick's probably going to hold that. <clears throat> like I said, I'll probably come over this and stitch it and then um, back do, do the back with some <clears throat> tea dyed paper. I do like this page. The paper from this kit is, uh, or not kit, uh, collection is just beautiful. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start inking this up a little bit. Like I said, I don't, um, sometimes I know in my mind what, how I want something to look, but like today, this is just completely, uh, I had no vision on <clears throat> how I wanted the, the tag to turn out, so we're just going to go with it. And uh, I know not everybody uh, really likes, you know, my process. I'm just showing you. It, everybody's got a different way of doing things. This is just how how I tend to, to work. Um, maybe it's unusual. I don't know. <laughs> And I might even afterwards do another spritz over it just to give it a bit more of the shimmer. We'll see how it all evolves. So I thought I really like the idea because I want the butterflies to come off the page. So I am going to be fussy cutting some of these butterflies because I love them. And I'm just deciding which ones. I, I'm going to do three just because I think with it being such a large tag, I think three is going to work out really nice on that. I like that little pink one there. Beautiful. I'm sorry, I should have done all of this ahead of time. I tell you what, let me stop the camera. You don't need to see me fussy cutting. That's going to take too long, so I'll do that and I'll come back. Okay, guys, I have now fussy cut my butterflies. And while I was <clears throat> over there, I went ahead and did a stitch around that so you can see. Just to add a little more interest, I've spritzed everything again with our Glimmer Mist. And now we are going to get these butterflies on here. Yep, I like that. So now Sorry, my pause is I just, you know, thinking through if there's anything else I feel like I want to do to it. I definitely want to ink up these edges to make those stand out against that background a little bit more. Probably need to ink that pad up again. I don't know what it is. It seems like the ink pads do not stay inked like they used to do. <laughs> Maybe it's just me. Okay, there. I think that's... I'll put just a little bit more on here. Okay. Yeah, I think that's, that's the way we want her. Alright, let's get this 
Let's see how I had those placed again. Okay, let me get those glued down. I'll tell you what, let me grab some. I'm going to put a bit of the linen thread behind those and see how I like that. Actually, you know what? I'm going to get some. Sorry, guys. This is just, this is how it all happens. I, I just I have to play with things. Get a bit of glue. A strip of glue down there. I'm not going to stress out about it too much. I've just felt as though it needs another texture. And then this I'm going to put in. behind the butterflies and then I'll come back and play with that thread a little bit oh there's no doing it without you know glue everywhere <laughs> ah, I try to be a neat and tidy crafter but I'm just not At the end of the day honestly I now just have to go in with a scrub brush just uh, to get the layer of glue off of my hands. It, it's unbelievable. <laughs> it's fun. I enjoy it. I enjoy making things. Pretty things, I hope. Glue that. Get some more glue on my fingers. And like I said, don't. I'm not going to stress out about the twine at the moment. I just want to get those set, and then we will come back and mess around. And see if we need to do any other little touches. It's just nice to do these little projects when you need a bit of a break from making journals. I've talked about this a lot, I know, but um, it is so easy to get burnout on journal making because it's such a big project. And I, I just love to stop and do little things like this. And like I said, I do journal but it's not to where I feel confident sharing that with you guys because my journal you know I'm not I can make journals but the journaling part is very personal for me and so I'm still working on that okay now here we are let me just ink this up a little bit more just to make it a bit more Vintage looking. Set that to the side because I don't like to see things when it's all cluttered. Oh, yes. Let me get some <clears throat> lace for the top of that. So I've been tackling <clears throat> my. Um, scrap drawer this week and I hopefully can show you guys what I've been up to in another video. So let's just get this put through here.
don't really know why I ever put away this linen thread because I'm constantly pulling it out. I ought to just leave it on my desk, can't I? right now. <clears throat> Just a second. We're not done. We aren't done. Okay. I just feel like I want to put a little I'm going to put it up there. Let me this up a bit. I don't want to make sure it all has kind of the same, <clears throat> same look to it. Okay. I think let me just look at it again. Yes, I think I'm, I'm happy with that because I think anything else is just going to be too much. So, <clears throat> I'm actually fine to leave that like it is because I didn't, if I had come through and did a lot of stitching in the center, I would have covered that probably. But that still leaves room that you can do some journaling on the back of that. So let's just see from the top there how it's looking. See all the dimension you've got? And look at the shimmer from that mist. It's just beautiful. Such a beautiful, beautiful color. Oh, I can't wait to get my little jars in. <clears throat> my little spritzer bottles in and mix these up. Yeah, I'm really pleased with that. So, let me just pull these back over so you guys can see. <clears throat> I'm so sorry about my throat. I don't know if it's the spring. Um, so that was the dust purple. Love that shade. Um, and the other one I wanted to point out that I thought was just going to be gorgeous. Um, there's a bronze. Look at that. That's going to be beautiful mixed up. There's a pure gold, which of course you can't go wrong with gold. <clears throat> but the other one was a champagne. I wonder where I put that because I pulled it out. I was going to do it. Gosh, I'm not seeing it. Here it is. Champagne. Look at that. That is going to be beautiful. So many variations on the white. You've got the um, cotton white, pearl white, and then the champagne. Oh, I'm going to get that mixed up as quick as I get my bottles in. So there you have it, guys. That's our little <clears throat> project today using... The mica powders from Arteza. I hope that you've enjoyed that project and I hope you, you won't be afraid to give it a try because it's, you know, sometimes we just get burnt out on these big projects and it's nice to just step away and do something a little bit different. Um, and this could just be sent to somebody as, you know, as just a, oh, I'm thinking of you. So thank you guys for joining me today and I'll be back soon. We're going to be working with the acrylic paints. Wow. Nervous because that's that's going um, in an area I have no knowledge about. But hang in there. Um, I think we can do it. We'll do it together. So I'll see you guys soon. Bye.